Okay, this is question number 11. Question number 11 asks us which of these is following the octet rule. So we should do these by drawing the Lewis structures for each of these. So for SF4, we're going to get So once we fill all this in, we initially think that it is following the octet rule, right? But actually, if we total up the electrons like we always are supposed to do with our Lewis structures, um, we get 34 total electrons. This only accounts for 32 of those, so there's actually a lone pair on the nitrogen, making it five bonds, not following the octet rule. Um, helium is a noble gas, meaning it has a full octet, so it's not going to bond with anything. It's not going to be following any octet rules. Um, BCl3, boron tetrachloride. Um, now, keep in mind that this species, were this not boron, were this something else, would be following the octet rule if uh, there was a lone pair on boron. Right? If you had a lone pair sitting right there, then it would be following the octet rule. But that's not the case. Boron has a valence of three, so it only wants to bond to three things to be neutral and stable. So, BCl3 is not following the octet rule. Um, Nitrile groups, C triple bond and nitrogen. Um, it's going to look like this, and it's going to have a total of 11, uh, or no, I'm sorry, 10 electrons, right? Because you have carbon, which is 4, plus nitrogen, which is uh, 5, so that's 9, plus 1 is going to total to 10 uh, E minus. So the negative charge right here, um, this whole negative 1, this is in fact following the octet rule. We have a lone pair and a triple bond lone pair and triple bond. Um, lithium um, in its ground state it's just going to look like that. Um, it's not following any octet rules. So this has been number 11.